part 3 of the Apple PowerMac G4 400MHz uh, PCI edition uh, full upgrade. Now, there's been a few problems uh, on the part 2. I showed you the power up and uh, then after that I had to do troubleshooting and install macOS 9, macOS X um, 10.2 Jaguar and uh, kickstart that off. Uh, in the process of uh, doing so, I uh, managed to put the software in and so forth and then managed to get a problem. Now, here, as you can see, here's all the upgraded parts. Uh, the PCI cards that I told you about, the memory and the hard drive now, I managed to put all the hard drives in um, the two, uh, there's three SEGAT hard drives but these two are SCSI and the other SEGAT hard drive is the IDE and I managed to stick it up there well I just found out these two SEGAT hard drives which are SCSI based hard drives and are being controlled from this card here uh, well, one of them is a one gigabyte hard drive, and the other is a two gigabyte hard drive. So, uh, so what I've done is basically made them predominantly um, Adobe Photoshop scratch disks, so, and because they are running off uh, the Adaptec uh, 2930 CU uh, SCSI card, they are going to be fast. Um, after putting the drivers in and so forth, I saw that it's uh, running at a 20 megahertz. Uh, speed and so that's that and the 6 gig hard drive Maxdoor Apple branded Maxdoor hard drive which came with that actual that's installed there uh, via the IDE and the issue that I had with that was because I had to put it in the middle bay because they, the other two took up that space I had to put that in the middle bay I had to get another cable uh, which I told you about before but not in depth but yeah I had to get a longer cable uh, a longer IDE cable so that's sorted and took the other one out so that's in um, in total there's a 512 megabyte of RAM and they're all 128 uh, megabyte um, RAM modules uh, PC100 RAM modules so that's that sorted the the serial port I don't know if you can see it but the serial port which is there there you go, there, uh, that's up and running, so yeah, that works fine, I've checked it out, put the drivers in, so that's sorted, and that's working fine. Now, I told you that I, put, um, I, was, put, I was going to put in a Yamaha uh, CD writer, uh, running off the SCSI, uh, running off the SCSI based uh, interface from the Adeptec SCSI card. Now, the issue that I had with that, under Mac OS 9 system, uh, the CD writer works. Uh, but has mounting issues occasionally uh, when trying to mount up a CD uh, disc so I'm going to scrap it so that's going to go and I've managed to get myself a DVD-ROM which I'm going to basically put in so that's going to go in uh, in replace of the cd -Rat. so that reads CD-ROMs and DVD-ROMs and it's IDE based, not SCSI based, so yeah, that's going to run up straight away from the actual motherboards without any PCI card. So that's so it's there. Apart from that, there's no other hiccup. Uh, it's running Mac OS X Jaguar 10.2, done all the updates, and the graphics card which is installed, it works on it too. So yeah, uh, so that's all it. Um, it's dual boot, so you can work Mac OS 9 on it and Mac OS X Jaguar. And once I've uh, install the DVD-ROM into there. Uh, we'll just take a few. Well, just take a couple of minutes, and that won't take too long whatsoever. Hopefully, so that's going to be done, and I'll do a quick update. So I'm just going to pause this. I've taken the optical drive bay out, and here it is. Uh, as you can see, I've used a 3.5 inch bay to put uh, a 20 gig SEGAT hard drive which is running off the IDE, uh, ID, IDE interface so that's in that uh, place there and the other three hard drives over there so there's a Yamaha CD uh, optical drive so I'm going to take that out so I'm just going to start by taking the screws off like so there you go so there you go that's the CD writer out so that's getting scrapped that's not going to be used anymore and the DVD ROM the lovely Apple branded DVD ROM that's going to be in place now. I'm going to stick that in there like so. Right, 
Right, I've got the screws in, and there you go, that's sorted, now I'll just have to stick it back in there. Right, just give me one second, it is a two-handed job, so sorry, give me one second. Right, so, that's in place, the optical uh, DVD drive is in place, and up and running, cables connected at the back, and made sure that the uh, ID selector, that the optical drive is running as slave, and the extra hard drive that I'm putting it in is running as the master, so, as the ID selector. So, there you go, uh, all I've got to do is put the front face here back on, yeah, got the face here there, I had to put the screws back in as well, <coughs> one there, and another one there, some people really think that you've got to take the whole thing off, but no, it's just this, so I'm just going to put this bezel, bezel back in there, see if I can do it with one hand, there you go, basically, it's, it's kind of simple, you've got two clips, plastic clips there, which you just make sure that they're firmly in, and if you want to take it out, just clip those in and take it out, so there you go, that's in place, and I'm just going to pause it again, and do the reboot for it, and just see if everything is up and running, so here yeah, I got it, got it set up right there, and now I'm just going to press the power button, there you go, for a second there, it's not going to happen, but yeah, that started up quite nice, there we go, Cool. I had to, in, after part two filming part two, I had to um, uh, install Mac OS 9 and uh, point two and uh, do all the updates and stuff. Still uh, loading up. See the little icons there. Uh, it's almost done. Mac OS 9 always takes a bit longer than Mac OS 6 to load up, but yeah. Just got to bear with it. Click this button. See if, uh, oh yeah, that's really cool, that is. Let's put this DVD uh, disc in. Let's see if that loads up. There we go. Yeah, there's all the hard drives. We've got, we've got here the system Mac OS 9 hard drive, which is the 6 gig. We've got the uh, system OS 10.2 Jaguar 20 gigs of that hard drive. Then we've got the two SCSI hard drives here. And we've got the DVD, uh, DVD ROM up there. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's do our full system profiler as well and let's see what happens with that here we go so everything is up and running fantastic and by the way what i also i'm going to show you uh, as well is that that this can run mac os x as well i uh, forgot to uh, show you that so i'm going to show you right now uh that is uh, i've got mac os x uh, uh jaguar uh running on this so it's mac os x uh, 10.2 and I've done the software update via the internet and managed to get 10.2.8 update on it with all the security updates, all the, all the other updates, Bluetooth updates, and whatnot, blah blah blah. So it's all up to date uh, running on Jaguar. So here it is um, Mac OS X up and running. There you go. Fantastic stuff. Uh, sorry about it, it's a bit dark. But yeah, there you go. It can also, uh, it can also uh, run uh, Mac OS X Tiger and Panther as well. So that's quite added a bonus. Uh, so, uh, but at the moment I've just installed Jaguar. It does take a little while to uh, to uh, boot up, so because uh, it does it is uh, quite slow. But it still works. <laughs> still works, guys. And here you go. There you have it. That's the Power Mac G4 uh, Power uh, Power Mac G4 400 megahertz PCI graphics, and it's running Mac OS X. And that was the Apple Power Mac G4 400 megahertz PCI edition full upgrade. Yes, I mean full upgrade. 
and this is the first time anyone has done that. So there you go. Uh, welcome all your comments, and any I would answer any questions. And by the way, this Power Mac for all the UK uh, eBayers, this is going to be going on eBay very soon. So I shall note down the eBay item number as well as soon as it does, and. Stay tuned because there will be more to come from the Babs way. Thanks for watching. Bye.